Hello, this is Opervex, and welcome to a very, very important tutorial on the fleet window. I have already formed up a fleet here, and I am going to go over several features of the fleet window that, with any type of PvP, or more importantly, player versus player, PvP is going to be very important for new players to be able to integrate within a fleet. This right here on the left side of the screen is of course the fleet window. Um, you'll see that there are three tabs. We'll go over my fleet first. I mean you can see that it has position for fleet commander, wing, squad, and then squad members here underneath. Um, there is, uh, it'll say who's boss, who's the booster, uh, squad commander, all of that stuff we can get into a little bit more advanced. But in basic, what uh, most fleet operations will revolve around is this history tab. So when we're in a fight, the history tab is what you want to be on. Okay, so with the history tab open, what you want to do is you want to click on this little fleet action. You want to make sure that your arrow's down and that uh, this is looking like that. So arrow down, compass pointing in all directions you want to open up the broadcast settings so this will pick actually what will show up in this window here as we conduct uh, maneuvers or targeting so what you want to have checked is definitely broadcast target uh, definitely align to the warp to or the other movement commands are kind of meh maybe you want them maybe you don't uh, if you're a logi roll, you would want to have this need armor checked and assign appropriate color. But what I like to do with targets is, uh, you know, it's checked here, and I assigned it a red color. And for movement commands, I have them checked, and I assigned them a green color. And this will show up. Let's see, I've got another fleet member here. I'm going to go ahead and broadcast a target. You'll see that it'll show target center rex here and what uh, if you're a fleet member if you were with the fleet and that target was called you could control click right from here and you'll see it's starting to acquire a target and then the target comes up movement wise what this would look like say we wanted to do an align to a gate Two. Oh, I didn't broadcast it. Broadcast a line two. It shows up here in green. And for player and fleet, if that was the order, you can right click on it and align to it. Now, with that out of the way, there is something called fleet warping. And that was where a commander of a fleet can align or not align but actually warp an entire squad to where they want to go so here I've issued the align command and I have to wait for you to warp with somebody you have to be at two-thirds of your maximum velocity to be able to warp so when we're talking about fleet warping it's important that you get up to speed don't add like speed mods to it don't try to pulse the afterburner just get up the speed when you have an issued command like this and focus on whatever else is going on so what I can do when I'm ready to warp is I can warp the entire squad at the same time and you'll see that we are in the same bubble Just imagine this with 20, 30 ships. It looks pretty, pretty cool. This is just a real small two-person fleet. Oh, looks like my other ship ran out of capacitor, so it dropped out of warp speed. All right, so again here, I can broadcast a target. You'll see in the screen, it'll have a little um, target and an F1 on it. Can broadcast another target. So how this would work in a fleet fight, you can also clear the history out when things get too chaotic. 
say you're in a fleet fight, right? What often will happen is you'll have an FC call out, be like, okay, all right, we're in the fight, we're in the fight. Uh, primary target is broadcasted. When that's killed, secondary target's broadcasted. And okay, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll list a third. So if you'll notice on here, the first thing that was broadcasted is at the bottom of the list. So if you were targeting, you can target all three. You know, this would be the primary, secondary, whatever. Quite often, the FC, you know, you can call for a rebroadcast. They can do that, but just just be aware that the what the top of the list is is the most recently called target. If they're calling three targets, if that's like the third with tertiary, you know, you're not going to be shooting at that. You're going to be shooting at this. You're going to you know, this would be the primary out of three. Now. Because my fleet didn't fully make the warp because of a lack of capacitor, uh, my fleet's kind of split up. So if you're ever separated from your fleet and you want to warp to somebody, you can actually right-click on their name and select Warp to Member. This is going to be key in a lot of PvP situations because you might have people spread over a couple different systems and say this player here, Senna, is actually on target, on grid, and they're in position all cloaked up ready to hit somebody you can have an entire fleet come in and be like okay warp into your optimal if my optimal is 30 I can then just go ahead and warp to my optimal and as you'll see we'll get there now the other thing that's very important is the ability to be able to broadcast for logi repping in a fleet especially if you have logi um, we of the three, you have shield, armor, and structure. Hit points broken over those three categories. And you'll see we're landing on grid here with Cinna at the just about the optimal that we selected. So of the three HP layers, we are, happen to be an armor fleet. So our logistics will rep to logi or rep to armor. That you so as an armor fleet, you almost never have shield. Now when you're in a fleet fight and of any type, be it PvE or PvP, when you start getting yellow boxed is when you want to call for reps. So here I'm with another player and when they target me you will start to see a yellow box here show up. That is telling me that that player is targeting me, right? I'm locked in for a target for them. So I need to then broadcast for armor. And you'll see that there are broadcast items here at the bottom of the fleet screen. And you can select need armor and broadcast that. And that'll show up if you were a logi and I didn't have it selected. So apparently it didn't show up here, which is good because I didn't want that. So if you're logi, there would be another broadcast here. You could pretty much filter all, everything else out and just focus on you know, repping. Now, while this is at the bottom of this, you know, you would never broadcast for needing shield. Sometimes you might be able to broadcast for needing capacitor. There might be somebody in fleet that's able to give you cap. Usually not. What you can do is you can set up a hotkey for need armor. And I highly, highly, highly recommend you do this. And you might as well, I might as well walk you through it right now. So you would hit escape, and under shortcuts, okay, broadcast need armor, right? So I have it set for my left arrow key. You'll have to set it for whatever you feel comfortable with that you'll never need otherwise, but you, know, you would just double click on it, and you would then you know click whatever button you wanted, and it sets it up. So there we have another Align to broadcast. We can align directly to it. The FC is going to wait till everybody's up to two-thirds of their total speed. And sometimes that's a guessing game. But you never want to move around. You always want to take the warp unless your FC tells you otherwise. Now, if there is a warp that goes on, 
that you don't want to take if the FC tells you to stop, you would control space and control spacing will cancel out whatever command you give. So if I choose to warp to the sun, warp drive. I can hit control S and you'll see here it says ship stopping. Another thing we'll cover is fleet warping. When a fleet lands on a gate, and it's an official fleet, when you land, don't jump through unless the fleet commander tells you to jump through. You might sit here a second, five seconds, ten seconds, a minute. Your job is just to chill out and listen for the fleet commander's orders. Don't be the guy that jumps through. That could get you and your entire fleet killed. So never do that. Usually the fleet commander will have you sitting there. Maybe there's a scout that's already through on the other side. And then finally you'll get the issue of the order. Jump, jump, jump. Usually a good FC will reiterate it at least more than one time. And you jump through. Now here's the other big kicker. On the other side of that gate, you have a certain amount of time that you are cloaked. Nobody can see you, right? This is a time that sometimes is taken up with the FC deciding what to do. Don't move. Don't break that. If you start moving on your own, you're going to decloak and expose your f yourself. So never decloak unless the FC tells you. Now what can quite often happen is you jump through and for whatever reason you need to burn back to the gate. And the FC will usually say burn the gate. And then you can decloak and usually hit your prop mod to get back as fast as possible. That doesn't necessarily, you know, burning back the gate doesn't mean jump through, it just means approach it at zero. This in frigate PvP fights is usually a pretty important maneuver. You know, you have a radius around a, you have a radius around the gate that you can potentially have somebody decloak out from so being at the gate is zero and a spherical spear, you know, they could pop out anywhere. This decreases the potential range of where you could uh, have to land from. So it kind of gets everybody in position or it prepares the fleet to be able to jump back through. And we'll go ahead and jump back through and then I'll go ahead and warp to my fleet member. So up here, I may have to toggle back and forth between history and fleet warp and as I'm warping I will end this tutorial thank you for taking the time to watch this this is a very important video if you have any questions feel free to ask before any major fleet formations but by watching this and getting you up to speed saves us a lot of time and energy and we really do appreciate that so until next time this is Opera Rex signing off